Now, the Fiji government has appealed to state governments to give attention to setting up of more isolation centers and bed spaces in the fight against the coronavirus. The Minister of Health, Dr. Asage Hanire, made the appeal during the daily briefing of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 on Wednesday in Abuja. According to Ehanire, there is urgent need to provide and prepare more isolation centers and more bed spaces in all states of the Federation. The minister requested distinguished senators, members of the House of Representatives and state assemblies to also get involved in a disease surveillance and notification efforts in their constituencies. Now, joining us is Dr. Benga Ogunlele to take a look at the increasing cases of COVID-19. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So, so far, what's your assessment and observation on the bid to tackle COVID-19 in Nigeria? Okay, well, clearly put, uh, there has been some uh, sensitization, information, dissemination. However, the execution of the actual task to see that um, people are here to these guidelines, I don't think has been closely monitored enough. Uh, because people are actually operating as if um, the lifting of the ban on the lockdown takes away the potency of the virus in affecting people. We still need to adhere to strict guidelines as um, given by NCTC and uh, follow through with other uh, health practices generally. So more cases are being recorded on a daily basis as it stands. What more do you think Nigeria should be doing or maybe doing differently at this time? Sorry, speak that again. I'm asking what do you think Nigerian government can do differently in its efforts to tackle COVID-19? Okay, yes. Uh, first and foremost, we need to actually have a more strategic plan to regard contact tracing uh, prompt attention to cases as they appear and actually uh, seek uh, other methods apart from just um, the social distancing being exemplified or practiced. But actually, uh, we actually increase testing. It's really important, um, you know, because the earlier these cases are detected and attended to, the prompter their treatment and medication can be given. You know, that's, that's very key. Okay, what are your concerns? There are other concerns about the lockdown being relaxed next week. Are you part of those who share uh, worries about the relaxation or you think it is a good idea? Okay, uh, it's two-sided. One, uh, people have a livelihood. People actually going through a lot. It's for the benefit of everyone basically staying safe. However, if people can adhere to those health practices, those guidelines that have been put in place, it will go a long way. You know, and beyond this period, I believe we should actually adapt health practices that become a lifestyle, a culture, not just because an, uh, a pandemic is in place and then we're running health and health to try and um, remedy the the effects of the pandemic, but actually if we as a people develop a lifestyle, it will go a long way in actually preserving us beyond this period. Okay, what kind of preparations do you expect that are crucial um, at this time that uh, the lockdown is being relaxed? What must be underground to ensure that the relaxation does not affect, um, I mean, increase the spread? Okay, um, one of the things that I believe that should be put in place is one uh, places where people should come to where they'll be close contacting, as it were, should have um, places where people can wash their hands, sanitizers should be made available, the strict social distancing should be put in place. Like um, there are a couple of banks out there, which is a very uh, commendable effort, I started placing some. Um, little boxes on the floor in their banking environment where people go to withdraw money from the ATM. So uh, literally people conform 
knowing that they need to fill these spots. With time, as we get to educate people, people would adhere to that. The same thing also for the transport system. If we have the NURTW uh, officials informed, educated, their bus drivers also educated, it will ensure that we actually carry this information across board where we would have people crisscross in this period post uh, the, the initial uh, lockdown period. All right, thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, Mr. Gwenga. Thank you very much.